On to section 7 now of module 2, the exercise set. We're asked to classify, and let me make this a little bigger. Each binomial as either a sum of cubes, a difference of cubes, difference of squares, or none of these. So I think this would be a good opportunity to again uh, number these. So we'll say sum of cubes will be a 1, different of cubes will be a 2, difference of squares will be a 3, and none of these will be a 4. We'll give you your assignments and pause while you do it. And then maybe we'll have time to do a couple of these examples down here. Alright, take a look at your answers and see how you did. Now, let's uh, actually factor some of these. Let's do the number twos here. These are difference of perfect cubes. Now, the recipe was to make a parenthesis for two terms, a parenthesis for three terms. And in the first a uh, two-term parenthesis. We take the cube root of that and we get an x. We're going to use this sign and the cube root of 1 is 1. Now we said that if this sign here is negative then the middle sign here is positive. This was part of the recipe. Now we square this term and get x squared. Multiply these two terms together, disregarding the sign, because we've already fixed the sign. And this is going to be just a plain x, or 1x. We don't write the 1. And then we're going to square negative 1. And that becomes a positive 1. So that's number 2. Now this number 2 is a little bit more sophisticated, but a parenthesis for 2, parenthesis for 3, and since this is the difference of perfect cubes, we'll put a negative right there, and then over here we're going to put a positive. So the cube root of that is xy, cube root of this is 3z, And then now we complete the recipe by squaring this term. Multiplying these two together. And we get 3xyz. And now we square this term. And we get a positive 9c squared. Okay, uh, let's look at one in which we are going to have the difference of squares, which is a 3. So here this is the difference of squares. This will factor into its conjugates. And it's just going to be 3x squared plus 25. Oop, how about plus 5 here? And 3x squared minus 5. For the difference of perfect squares, it factors into its conjugates. And which other one do we have here? Uh, how about none of these? Well, this is a perfect square. This is a perfect cube. 
and there are no common factors except an x so all that we could do here is factor out an x and get 25 x plus 8 doesn't help us a lot but that's all we can do that's why it's none of these it's not one of these first three and then number four again you can factor out a 2x out of each one but this would give you a 7x squared minus 2 but that's as as far as you can go now we're saying that 9 is the difference of perfect cubes so let's factor that parenthesis for 2 parenthesis for 3 what side here's going to be a negative over here a positive now we're going to divide this 12 by 3 and get s to the fourth divide this by 3 and get t to the fifth and now we square this and get s to the eighth multiply these we get s to the fourth t to the fifth and then the last term is always positive a negative t to the fifth times a negative t to the fifth that is we're squaring it it's going to be a positive t to the tenth okay well you will have plenty of examples to do and uh, We'll keep this one short.